daily program on Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis. So today is Sunday, which means we are starting a new week next week. And what everybody wants to know is did the head and shoulder fail or not? So if you look at this graph, you can see that it has formed a kind of head and shoulder, although I'm not fully on. See, head and shoulders are normally formed on slightly higher time frames, but yeah, I mean, looks looks like a head and shoulder. The whole world talked about a head and shoulder. The question is, did it actually form or did it fail? <laughs> now, the first question we have to answer is, what is the daily candle on Nifty? Na daily candle on Nifty can be considered to be a bullish piercing, but is it really a bu bullish piercing? It is a bullish piercing only if, so let me do this. I'll take the top and bottom of the previous candle, right? So the previous candles close is, sorry, open is 25027 and the close is uh, 24749. Now, if I divide it by 2, 24888 is the level at which the middle of this candle exists. So, this candle, the red candle on Thursday, the middle is 2488, but the close on Friday is 24854. So, it is almost a bullish piercing, but it did not quite become a bullish piercing. Because a bullish piercing would have been formed at 24.888, but we only have 24.854, 30 points short of bullish piercing. And see, the minimum cutoff of bullish piercing is at least half of the other candle, right? But this is, uh, but this is, uh, you know, uh, not quite reaching that level. It failed short. So, Nifty daily candle just shy short of bullish piercing did not complete piercing. Now weekly candle of nifty. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a doji. Weekly is uncertain T candle doji. Right. Remember, Doji is not a reversal candle. It's one of the most biggest beginner mistakes ever. Uh, trust me, I've lost a lot of money on thinking Doji is reversal. It can be continuation also. Bank Nifty, on the other hand, looks a lot stronger. Weekly candle is a Marubozu. Clean bounce from the bottom of the channel. And it has formed a bullish engulfing on daily time frame. Bank Nifty. Forming bullish engulfing on daily and bullish marubozu on weekly. Right now, because we are on 20th, let's get some hint on what the eventual monthly candle looks like. Oh, this is tricky. So, if Bank Nifty continues to be positive, monthly we'll have a bullish. Uh, a hammer and if nifty continues to be positive oh that's so nifty is actually weak in comparison with bank nifty right bank nifty looking a lot stronger than nifty now let's look at open interest which is for the week of oh this is reliance sorry yeah Four days to go. 25,000 is the resistance. Support is there below 24,800, but it's not a massive support we are looking at. 24,800 has some support. PCR is also neutral at 0 0.8 and 0 0.7. Uh, support below 24,800. Resistance at 25,000. PCR is 0 0.87 around ATM. Six overall. Neutral to bullish. Now 
participant wise option data this is going to be very interesting so the only things which we look at these days is pro and client so pro is short calls and short puts but it's nothing major right these are tiny values negligible but client is short calls and they covered puts that's interesting they added short calls 4 lakh call short they bought back a lot of puts around 4 l puts and now they are at six and a half lakhs uh, uh, short put. So Pro has minimal positions. Client has four L call short and six point six L puts short. Right, and you can see the change here. Client. To get to this number, client actually shorted a lot more calls and covered a lot more puts. So that's that. But what has really worked for us in the last few days is uh, futures data, right? So client has bought, FI has covered some futures. Client has added some futures. That's interesting. And FI bought 680 crores on, wow, that's crazy. 680 crores futures bought, but 5,500 crores sold even on Friday, right? On a day when market went up. So that's that's a little mental. Uh, FIA still short, client still long. On Friday, FIA bought 680 crore future. On Friday, despite the market uptick, FII sold. This is a lot of money, by the way. 5,486 crores. 5,400 and crores. That is a lot. So let's just see overall how much is the FII selling so far in October. In October, FI has reached 80,000 crores in cash. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. It's <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah. So verdict, the bounce may continue, but cash selling FNDO data says, FNDO and chart says bounce might last a little more, but cash data says it cannot last long. Trades, I don't think I want to change my view. I am happy to sit on sold long term positions till view changes. And the view will change if on monthly time frame we get a positive candle in either Nifty or Bank Nifty. But for now, see the bounce can happen, right? The bounce can happen has multiple reasons. <laughs> One is Nifty has kind of formed. So don't short here till reversal signal comes back. See, previous candle on Nifty is a uh, bearish engulfing, right? So if this level breaks, which is 25,000, 25,000, uh, 30 or something where the top of the bearish engulfing is, then we can see some more up move, right? And for all you know, it can test 25,000 again, 25,000 KIA is just 150 points above, right? But I don't think it will last, uh, given the relentless selling we are seeing in cash, uh, somebody really knows something that we don't. So maybe it will bounce a little bit and fall, or maybe it can fall. But once it breaks this level, right? The 24, uh, the previous candle color, this candle color, I think a lot more of selling can emerge after this. But basically, why, why will my view change? My view can change if uh, Nifty sustains above this level. And if Nifty's monthly candle becomes a positive candle, which is highly unlikely, unless of course Nifty is able to give like 600 point bounce from here, there's no way this candle will be positive. Bank Nifty is the only thing which is looking good right now, simply because See, on weekly time frame, it has given a margozu. On monthly time frame, a little bit more push and it can become a hammer. 
on daily time frame bank nifty has formed a bullish engulfing so bank nifty looking a lot more optimistic than nifty maybe bank nifty's up move will drive nifty up but yeah so purely based on bank nifty charts and open interest data i have a feeling we might see a little bit more bounce so ideally what i will do is i won't play the bounce simply because i don't know how big a bounce this will be if the bounce lasts then we'll see when it lasts but going long into this bounce is tricky but don't short also right now till the bounce is over so don't short tomorrow morning thinking the bounce khatam ho gaya right the bounce can last maybe monday tuesday one more one or two more days it can last but when it shows signs of weakness start shorting at a level where it shows signs of reversal right but otherwise um right now chances are that the bounce might last see the price action if you see there is a daily reversal candle coming or a weakness coming or a sell on uptick coming then we can add shorts but given bank nifty is looking strong and bank nifty has formed a bullish engulfing and bank nifty on weekly also looks decent maybe the bank nifty bounce might be able to pump nifty a little bit right this is my only bull case scenario otherwise uh, uh, with this i don't think there is a chance nifty will be bullish unless of course it cra- crosses above 25000 plus levels where the top of this bearish engulfing candle is now let me take some questions from our viewers and look at global bhai sir we started a hindi channel separately why do you do this every day man why do you come to this channel to ask for a hindi broadcast we do a hindi broadcast dude like look at this go to youtube search for <laughs> sensible hindi where is the channel yeah this is sensible hindi and how can you know say no to this face look at sagar it's like the see sagar is by far the most good looking presenter of market analysis in sensible i can guarantee you that so please go watch this channel if you don't watch this channel and say hindi sagar will be very very sad please make sagar happy please go watch this channel galaxy world Have I ever had a cockroach problem? भाई मतलब ये कहाँ से कहाँ आ गए आप? I yeah I mean we have removed pests once in. Cam Mamshi is asking after selling eighty thousand crores do you still have capacity to sell more? Yes for two reasons one they have a lot more mal to unload. Uh, number two which is the most worrying part is dude all the FII money you are seeing is not really FII money. it's actually indian money which is going to some tax haven and coming back as fii money so it's money which belongs to our politicians i mean like one of my friends used to work in private equity and um, he used to and never mind <laughs> but but it trust me it's politician money coming as uh, fii money it's just it's just uh, binami tax joel and what not so so yeah yeah so look at the let's look at the other markets snp is half a percent up uh gif nifty actually is flat dxy is 103 gold formed an all time high very impressive very interesting silver formed an all time high too right gold and silver both have formed an all time high which is usually a sign of uh, people being psyched that there could be something coming usually conflict and all Indian government yield is up, which means bond prices are down. TLT is flat. Um, what else is interesting? U.S. oil is down. See, what I don't understand is if this Middle East crisis is real, why is oil falling? But but take it. Let's not get into economics of it. Who cares, right? We are only looking at charts. But oil has been consistently falling, and uh, this is uh, worrisome from a world economy point of view. Bitcoin is uh, going to the moon. Uh, Sixty-eight thousand now, but again, 
we don't know what is driving it now but i think the biggest takeaways um, is there is an ath in gold ath in silver please uh, all time high in both gold and silver please watch this space usually all time gold is an inflationary hedge and gold is also a um safety haven when wars etc break out also gold is in demand when uh faith in fiat money which is the money which we are using right now gets eroded right it generally means investors are wondering ki boss kya government paisa wapas dega kya apna in which case people take gold so um yeah this is interesting gold and silver uh, please obviously don't short gold or silver because things at an all time high continue to be in a state of all time high till a uh, reversing candle comes and acts on it newton has said this in no mean <laughs> so so anyway so largely my nifty view is that we might see some more like a little bit more bounce but i don't know how much the bounce will go if there is a decent reversal coming after a bounce or if you get an opportunity to short i'll still play the short game and not the long game simply because i don't think this is anywhere near over looking at the overwhelming cash sell data right so that is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual uh, 